If you watched The Acolyte and you saw all the drama around it with the gayest Star Wars ever and the uh, Amanda Stenberg music video with weird AI music where she's just, we so bored, don't F with your discourse. <laughs> um, you you, you might have thought like it's impossible for it to get worse with Star Wars. But Disney's like, hold my Bud Light, my friends. <laughs> Here we go. It always, always ends up this way because SJWs always double down. And here we go. This is uh, this is now invading the cartoons for your kids for the Clone War. This is what they're doing. It's a total, total psyop to try to groom your children. That's, that's the whole point. And Disney is complicit in this. Well, let's get into the news in just a moment. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling science fiction author, the most trusted name in science fiction fandom. Please join us and subscribe here. We just hit 40,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Uh, just pumped today. What a, what, a, what a crazy day. I never expected this YouTube channel to go this far. And it's because we talk about everything in science fiction. I'm also a science fiction creator. I've got an awesome book called The Emerald Array. Uh, you know, sp- spacemen fight bugs in space. This is This is classic classic action adventure and if you are looking for an alternative to star wars great spot for you guys to land it's a graphic novel that is uh is launching just a couple days ago and uh, we just got banned on kickstarter because they don't like our our views here because we uh we're i guess we're too hard on their mainstream friends and so we launched on fund my comic a great free speech platform as an alternative to kickstarter so please check this out this is uh this is my 13th graphic novel we've been producing we just get these out like clockwork we're building a universe uh, here called the Terran Imperium Chronicles. And like I said, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to really enjoy this. Uh, grab it in the description below. And uh, please, guys, uh, support our channel with this. Uh, this is this is definitely the, the way we're moving forward. We're building alternatives to all this crap that's out here that Disney's putting out. Uh, and we're very, very happy to have you on board. So Lucasfilm and Simon & Schuster revealed a first look at a male clone trooper pretending to be a woman in Star Wars, The Secrets of the Clone Troopers. And this is kind of what they're doing. Uh, when they're doing these things with books now, um, they're they're introducing this stuff first. I, I just saw Dark Horse was putting out a High Republic uh, comic book, and High Republic is, is you know, Old Republic era, uh, that they, like, they, they carved out this era, like, where there's no talk or anything. So they, they added all these weird diversity hires. There's this lady writing for it who's... Uh, um, uh, you know, her entire deal is just race grifting as a black person, uh, and it's terrible. Like nobody likes it. Nobody reads the comics or the books, and they they just put out a uh, a very cartoony, again geared towards kids, uh, wedding special between two women, and uh, and that's that's what they're doing now. Of course, with clone troopers, with here, uh, you know, the Titan books, uh, they're putting out strange, crazy stuff here. So Star Wars Holocron uh, apparently purchased a copy. And uh, revealed the book has a first look at a sister, a trans woman clone trooper. Uh, he added the clone trooper Rex, who writes an in-universe account of the clone troopers, uh, and that's what the book is about, I guess, describes the sister, when one of our kind expressed her gender identity differently than her fellow troopers, she featured she'd have to hide who she tr- she feared, probably she feared, uh, is what she what he meant there. Uh, she'd have to hide who she truly was inside. You see how insidious this is? Like I said, this is geared towards kids. And the reason they're writing this like this, express your gender identity, kids. You don't have to fear who you truly are inside. They're encouraging mental illness. They're encouraging children uh, to bodily mutilate themselves. This is what Disney's doing now. This is Disney's entire agenda to just warp the culture, warp your children, uh, and destroy everything that is existing in America. It's absolutely true. Fortunately, her brothers in the Seventh Sky Corps gave her the name Sister as a constant reminder that she belonged. So, so they're they're telling little kids that if you you know mutilate yourself, you belong more. You see how you see how insidious this is. This is evil. This is Satan right here, guys. This is the worst thing that ever could be done with Disney. And this is like some some little clone trooper book again. This is cartoons of Star Wars meant for children. This is this is what they're pushing as their agenda right now. And uh wow, this is the this is the art of it. Um absolutely hideous and uh this is Star Wars now. That park places Jonah Campbell, 
uh, said the book is being marketed towards kid children. Like I said, yeah, Disney just released Clone Wars book featuring male trooper called Sister who uses she, her pronoun with trans color painted armor. Yeah, that's it. There it is. There's the little trans flag colors, guys. Yay. How exciting. The book says it's for young fans and children. And that's uh, that's exactly what they're doing. Sick. This is sick. 32 pages, so it's like one of those quick flip books things. Uh, they, they, it's this geared towards like if these these books are geared towards like five year olds guys, I mean this is what they're trying to do now. Simon and Schuster listing the book saying it learn the secrets of the clone troopers in this interactive, fully illustrated guide for readers of all ages. Wow, beautiful illustrations that will enthrall child and adult readers alike. Yeah, learn the lore. This is all fake lore because it's never existed before, right? Uh, Clone Force ninety nine, the five hundred and first Legion. The, the crazy, crazy, and your favorite characters. Yeah, your favorite characters, except for the ones that we're going to invent now for our agenda. This is going to get a full page spread just to, just to stick it to you here. Pop ups, booklets, like I said, totally geared towards kids. That's exactly what this is about. Absolutely sick. The character first appeared in E.K. Johnson's Queen Hope in 2022. In a now deleted post, she shared the concept of a character. Created by Uzuri Art. She said her name is Sister because her brothers wanted to make sure everyone knew she belonged. There it is. Oh, and she's uh, she's uh, racially diverse too. Yay. How, how, how does a clone... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> the sister doesn't have a huge part in the book. We didn't want to use her existence as promo. I made her to be shared, not just with readers, but with other Star Wars writers as well. She's functionally immortal. Plot armor that makes Darth Maul look like a pushover. Of course, you can't kill the Troon. Unbelievable. Johnson wanted to make the character to interact with young Anakin, revealed the idea to make the character of so-called transgender, came from Lucasfilm's story group. So that's where it is. Comes from the company itself. They're pushing it. Story group was wondering if you could take Teppo as a trans character and said, and thought about it for 10 seconds and said, no, I can't. It's like flipping a switch in this case. And then I was like, but you did ask for another Anakin scene. So what if I just gave you a trans character? And sister was the idea. I've been floating around for a couple of months. I knew it was going to be a short scene. I knew it was going to be very unsubtle. And I knew I wanted it to be Anakin because I wanted it to be one of the most like Jake Lloyd moments in the whole book. I wanted that kind of innocence. You see how sick this is? Their little sexual fetishes or innocence to them. That geniusness, the immediate acceptance to shine through that scene. Look at this book, The Queen's Hope. Sick. The inclusion of it in, in Corn Troopers says, it comes right after her. Disney says they're not going to push the agenda. Oh, geez. The woke thing has more of an impact. You said to me that you would love to be out of the culture wars. Do you feel you're succeeding in that? Uh, and Bob Iger lied. Yes, I think the noise is quieted down. I've been preaching this for a long time at the company uh, before I left and since I came back that our number one goal is to entertain. Yeah, right. This is an entertainment. Sick. Look at the the term woke is thrown around liberally, no pun intended in that regard. I think a lot of people don't understand what it really means. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, gosh, I hate these people. The bottom line is that the infusing messaging is sort of a number one priority in films and TV shows is what we're up to. They need to be entertaining. Well, this is anything but entertaining. It's obvious agenda. There's no purpose to this other than agenda. Aiming this kind of thing at five-year-olds is just the sickest thing I could possibly imagine Disney doing. It is warping their minds. It's corrupting them. It's pushing adult sexual fetishes onto them. Uh, and this is this is Disney's agenda. This is what it is. Because look, Disney is an agent of Satan at this point. We know it. Uh, they they are the worst of the worst, and everything they've been pushing has been so sick. There's a reason that both of their shows this year, uh, this summer, that came out with the Acolyte and Agatha all along, are all about lesbian witches uh, being the good guys, while everybody else is actually the bad guys. Think about what they're doing. This agenda is so thick. Uh, when they tell you that it's not there, it's 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 amazing how anybody doesn't see it at this point. And uh, gosh, uh, this sort of thing needs to be shunned. And Simon and Schuster, especially as a publisher pushing this towards children, should be ashamed of themselves. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button, my friends. And please check out our alternative, the Emerald Array. We're bringing things back. Even our art design on this is like a Saturday morning cartoon. This is the type of stuff that like you would have got back in the 80s and 90s before they did all this stuff. And gosh, I would love to do some animation of this. How fun would this be to have our own sort of Space Marine group going out there? 
uh, in full animation. The more we get built here, the more we build this platform, guys, the more we can do. So grab this on Fund My Comic today. Support our work. Thank you so much, guys, for being there. We'll be back soon.